Welcome to Con Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. That, my friends, is that's Ian Andrews. Yeah, I know you might not recognize him. Yeah. But he's right there. No t-shirt. Today. It's not Halloween. This is just how we roll. We do random yeah. stuff. It's how I always dress. Like, when I'm not on the show, I dress like right. this. Right. He was just... At work, when I'm chilling out at home. Yeah, he just dresses liar. down. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You got a tie on there, I'm too. I'm wearing pants. So. <laughs> so, so take that. Well, there you go. <laughs> so your crotch is on fire. <laughs> Whoa. Well, liar, liar, crotch on fire. So today we're going to be quickly. reviewing three aged Eat rums. Rums. Now We're going to be blind tasting. Yeah, it's true. Because we have no idea what the brands what are. are. So we're going to give tasting notes, possibly. I would like that, yeah. We're going to make a preference out of the three. Yeah, yeah. And that one that we prefer is going to go into... Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday's blind tasting. Mm. With, uh, put it up against a couple other ones. Yes. 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 You want to taste the first one? I would love and to And I will speak them. to these. These are somewhat aged. And what I mean by that is a lot of companies don't give you exact ages. They also don't tell you how much of one product is in there. So I'm using... You guys should all pick this up if you're big into tiki and into rum. This is the Smuggler's Cove book. On page, if you want to follow along, on page 196, he defines light aged, aged, long aged. Light aged is 1 to 4, aged is 5 to 14, and long aged is 15 plus. I don't have anything that's 15 plus. I'd probably know it would have cost me a lot. Penny XO was probably the only one that would have fit that category, but we only had small. Oh, that version one. Yeah, it was so good. good. Um, there's also no Demerara's in here. That's good because that's a very different flavor. Yep. Very dark, uh, deep, yeah. much deeper There's flavor. no dark. Like uh, black straps or right. black rums and Gossing like. black cedar right. or anything like that. Nothing like that. Myers dark. So that's not hot at all in my mind. Really? That tastes like a watered down rum to me. It does taste like a watered down rum. Yeah. Well, but when you say hot, do you mean Bernie? Yeah. Well, I, I, I I had pizza tonight and I burned it from my mouth, so it's a little Bernie for me. But it has a candy smell. It does. It's bland. It's... It's not like a, it doesn't sting your nostrils when you inhale right. it, so there's not a lot of vapors from the ethanol. The vapors? Vapors. I'm, not the vapors. I don't, I don't think it's that, I'm going to say it's not that good. None of these are going to be super expensive, so they're all going to kind of fall someplace between, what, like $19 and uh, $35. <laughs> I know it's a big swing, but hmm. you, it depends. Yeah. And I don't know if any of them really fall in the 35s, unless it's hard to get. I have, there's a Cuban rum that's hard to get. Cheap. There's a how much is that denizen merchants reserve? Uh, that was like so that was in the category. Twenty five. Oh, was that okay? Yeah. Uh, Ooh, I, I think this one has a more distinct odor. Yeah. So this is this. You know what this tastes like? Rum barbing court. Like it just has that like. No, it's not funky enough, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but it, it it tastes like a light, cheap. Uh, I don't know something I don't normally drink. <laughs> the other thing. It's sweet cotton candy, butterscotchy. Yeah, you like get a, it in the smell too. Like a Rumson's. Yeah, but not. That's not Rumson's. I don't think. Mm. It's too. Hmm. Uh, mm. I, I don't. I, I just think tiki immediately, like my ties. You think? Yeah. A little banana, little cotton candy, little pineapple, dark rum, like sugary. Uh, okay. Yeah. Maybe a little brown sugar. Not like oak or anything, but like a. It does have that mai tai taste to it now. Yeah. I say that. I throw some lime in there, and that would be my that would be my rum martini. There you go. I I, I, I like I like the flavor. Aged rum daiquiri. Yeah, my aged rum daiquiri. I like it. Uh, the other thing I didn't do is to find out what are pot stills and column stills. Uh, if you look at page one ninety seven of the Smuggler's Guide and one ninety eight ninety nine, he breaks down everything by lightly aged column stills, blended long aged column still aged column still long aged black pot stills, black blended. Like pot column and then your age categories all break out. I can't figure so out what we combinatorics, have. Combinatorics, right? Yeah. I don't know what that means. Yeah. You just picked everything that pot and column, then you got long aged, short yeah. aged, super long aged, so two times three is six different combinations. Oh like, that, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. Combinatorics. Yeah. <laughs> what he said. Uh what what uh the smuggler's cove guy when I say guy, it's uh Martin Kate, right? Martin Kate does is he categorizes so in number two is blended <laughs> lightly aged. Nice. So if you're making recipes within his book, he'll just call for a rum that says two ounces blended light aged rum, number two. Then you go over here and go, Oh, so I can do Banks five, Caviato, Chairman's Reserve, above, Denizens, yeah. uh, Eldorado three, and he like breaks them out. So you can he knows this is the category of which that rum should fit for a drink. Well, that's a nice way to do it. 
So that way like people that. don't have to think like, oh, well, what kind of rum do I use in this drink? Which is it tells you exactly what kind, and then you can break it down mm. and like uh, pick the one that you like. It's nice. I'm gonna say I like two the most out of these. Three, one is a little bit watered down. Three is a little, a little bit, bit harsher, but a little bit more watery. That's got funkiness. To this. It's got a little oaky, and you're not even oak wood. Not oak. But, like it tastes like it's been sitting in the bottom of a barrel, sloshing around. Like an oak barrel. No, that's a, it's got like a funky, almost like a, not a stale. Not but, funky um, where it's like that. Uh, what's that funky? Stuff. No, like an earthy. Not it's a barbecue, court, but a... Uh, uh, Agricole? No. No, the brand I'm thinking of. Oh, uh, uh, the sea? Uh, under yeah, the yeah. sea. Under the sea. Under what is it called? Sea. I don't, I, that's not, I don't know if we have it here. It's something in, the one for, it's Puerto Rican, uh, no. It's, what the heck, where do we go? <laughs> Hudicata, where's that located? Dominican. Dominican. <laughs> yes, Dominican rum, no. This, but it has like a, like a, if you had an oak bottle, like one of those oak bottles over there, and you just opened it up. Like yeah, that. Like muskiness. It's, yes, maybe Mus that's musty. it. Mus musky, musky M odor. Musky, musty. It has a musky odor to it. Uh, that that was like the took four minutes. I never, even, I don't even know where my clock is to figure out what that means. But yes, this number two is by far the rummiest of rum. Yeah. This is what I think of for most of my rum drinks. Which this probably is makes unique. you lean towards it being the denizen. I don't know if that fits the denizen. Flavor profile. It, it won't be denizen. No. Number two is the winner. Number one probably after that. Number three is a little musky for me. I like two, three, one myself. Two, three, one. But we're, we're agreed on two. So two. What's, what's number one? No, it makes sense that you agree on two. Florida del Cano. Florida del Cano. Okay, oh, so really? Cano. Somebody had just asked. Down. No, Florida del Cano. Uh, not Twenty uh, um, Brazil. Yeah. Uh, Panama. That sounds right. Venezuela. So, I don't know. Some place around there. Somebody number in number two. Plantation five year. Okay, plantation. Oh, really? That's really tasty, and I didn't plantation, huh? Yeah, it's back there. Uh, that's not the five year, is not. it? The one I poured no, in that cup is here. the five year. Oh, did I put the? Oops. Whoops. Doesn't matter. Yeah, the five year was down there. Numero tre. Uh, Coxburg. Coxburg. Okay. Which one? So, this guy has just the flavors I want. Of course, it's a plantation product, and we always talk about how awesome plantation is. But, they are. but we, you know, I've. Shaking the guy's hand. We've gone through seminars, so there could be some Julie bias. Julie has a picture with them. Julie has a yep. picture with uh, uh, Gabriel Alexander. Uh, so, you know, I would prefer that it be the winner, but I had no idea. Well, that's the point of doing a blind. I thought it was Denison. I thought it was Denison. It just didn't have the same complexity that the Denison had. Yeah, no, Denison's a deeper flavor, I Cause think. It's, yeah, because it's got three different blends from three different islands with a purpose. That was two. But it is two different blend. islands, right. It's the... But it's the agricole and the the other island. Yeah, it's the, yeah, but it's the plantation. It's not Mauritian, but uh, plantation is a blend. This is. I, I thought all those were. No, this is from Barbados. Uh, so. Oh, just the three islands. Jamaican and Martinique. That's what's what uh, Barbados? That's um. It's an island. <laughs> <laughs> what else is from Barbados? Is it Mount Gay? Yeah, I think I so. Think Eclipse, so, yeah. and we have like I have like three balls of Mount Gay. Question today, what country are you the most curious about that you know you don't know anything about? That you were like, you feel like you don't, you want to talk about it, but you feel too ignorant to ever bring it up. But you might want to visit there because you're curious, but you also don't want to get mugged, raped, or killed. South Africa. South Africa. Nah, you be, might be okay in South Africa. South Africa, eh? I, no, but that's one that I don't know anything hmm. about, but it yeah. interests me. And South Africa? Maybe New Zealand. New Zealand would be cool. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to see The Hobbit. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to go see the flights of the Concords. I would like to know a little bit. I'd like to know more about like Argentina and some places in South America because I don't know enough about it as as has been as proclaimed. Not, but what <laughs> is on my bucket list is to eventually visit Dubai. Oh, Dubai. Cool. Yeah. So there's your question today. Write it below. You could put a country, if it, maybe it's a city, but probably more of a country-wise, and let us know. Don't forget right now to click the like button. You should be doing that. People are kicking some ass with the like button. Some of my videos have like 130 likes, which like four months ago, that could have been all my views. So wow, yeah. more of those likes are awesome. <laughs> Share it because that brings up subscriber count and subscribe, obviously. Did you a drink? Did you know that the first 24 hours of any of our videos, or any video in general, is the most important time to gather key metrics for YouTube so that it shows up higher in search results and gets new additional views from new potential subscribers. So if you have a chance, watch our videos within the first 24 hours they're posted. It would help a lot.